This image was auctioned for $69 million. This video was sold for $6 million and there is a plot of land on a video game somewhere that was sold for $1.5 million. Also, this 3D house was sold for 500 grand and it's not even that pretty. Now, the thing that all these things have in common is the fact that they are NFTs. And if you are a developer, a gamer, a business owner, a collector, if you use the internet at all, you need to understand what NFTs are and how they can and will disrupt your life and businesses. For example, did you know that there is a casino on a VR game that is actually hiring full-time employees? Like that means that your job will be to work full-time inside of a VR game. We are so close to living in a world like Ready Player One, like the metaverse is almost here. Now, if you think that these pieces of art I just mentioned are crazy and stupid and who would pay for that? That's a scam and a bubble. I might agree with you. We are, I think, in bubble territory. But before we dismiss something as stupid or a scam or just dumb, let's try to understand it because we cannot afford to dismiss NFTs like they're stupid the same way we dismissed Bitcoin or Ethereum in 2017. For example, let's take this image right there. This is a $69 million image. And this one was created by the artist called Beeple. This image actually consists of 5,000 other images that Beeple created since 2017. He sat from 2017 and made one image per day. He put them all together and this is the result you are looking at right now. And that is what was sold for $69 million. Yes, maybe the price is insane. Maybe it's stupid, maybe it's a bubble, whatever you want to call it. But the fact that we live in a world where an artist can monetize their art in this way, it's amazing. Now that is the point of NFTs. Annyeonghashimnika, Nicolas Emida. And there is no intro today, too many things to talk about. So let's get started. NFT means non-fungible tokens. If you don't know what that means, don't worry, we're going to get started with fungibility first. And actually, it sounds harder than what it is. Fungibility basically means that one thing equals another thing and they are interchangeable. Let's say, for example, I have a US dollar, you have a US dollar, and we exchange those things, okay? One equals one. That is fungibility. Now, let's talk about non-fungibility. Non-fungibility means that things are not the same. Like, for example, a plot of land, or a Pokemon collectible card, or a limited edition shoes, or a John C. contract. Like, these things are not the same. That is non-fungible. Now, let's talk what about tokens. What is a token? There are some blockchains, like for example, Ethereum blockchain, that allow you to issue your own tokens, your own money, let's say, on top of them. For example, the Ethereum blockchain has their own currency and that is Ether, right? Ether right now costs, I think, a little bit more than $1,500, okay? But there are tokens on top of the Ethereum blockchain that cost even more than $30,000, like Yearn Finance and Wi-Fi. That means that you can use the security of the blockchain to issue your own tokens and do whatever you want with them. Now, if you don't know what blockchain is or smart contract, make sure you watched previous videos because I already explained those concepts. Now, how do you mint tokens? How do you issue your own tokens? What you can do is just create a smart contract, let's say, and this smart contract will have two functions. One function is it will receive money, okay? And if it receives money, it will send tokens. That's it. So I can create, let's say, NicoCoin. Let's call it NicoCoin. Okay, so if I have Nikoin, I can make a Nikoin contract and if I get Ether or US dollars or whatever it is, I will send you Nikoin. So one Ether equals 10,000 Nikoins, for example. That's how you can issue your own tokens or one way of the many there are. But what if I made a contract that only issues one token? Only one, not a thousand Nico coins, one Nico coin. And what if I put an image inside of that token or a video or a song or my Johnson contract or whatever it is. This is when, boom, you have anything. So when you are buying a $69 million painting, you're actually not buying the painting itself. You are buying a unique token that will only be issued once and it's unique and it has an image inside of it. That's it. You're just buying a token with a file inside of it. I know what you're thinking. It's stupid, no? I mean, why would you buy an image? Like anybody can see it, so it's not even private. Anybody could download it and resend it to their friends or print it and put it on their wall. Like what is the point of buying an image? Who can be so stupid? Now, I would say that's a very good argument, but also I could make the same argument with, let's say, the Mona Lisa. Why would I, let's say, go to Paris to see the Mona Lisa where I can just Google Mona Lisa and I will have millions of photos in Google? Why would I go to Paris and do a queue and pay for everything if I can just print the Mona Lisa and put it on my wall? Why would I go to Paris then? 
The answer is, I wanna go to Paris because I think Da Vinci was a rock star and he did the Mona Lisa, so I want to go and see the original thing. I want to go and see the thing that Da Vinci made, the real one, the original. And this is what NFTs do. NFTs prove originality. NFTs prove providence. They prove that something came from the owner of that thing. Now here is when the potential of NFTs will become clear to you and the amount of disruption and opportunities that this can create for many, many industries. For example, there are projects already that allow you to tokenize your tweets into NFTs and sell them. The first ever tweet in the Twitter website was done by Jack Dorsey, the creator of Twitter, and that tweet was tokenized, made as an NFT, and now was sold for almost $3 million a couple of days ago. Imagine if a music label starts selling Justin Bieber's tweets, of what if we could tokenize the Instagram photos from your favorite K-pop artist and you could own that photo. Lots of fans will buy those things. And the thing is that because they're NFTs, they can prove that they are the real thing. Now this concept is hard to understand and it's hard to really grasp how big it is because on the internet we are used to just copying everything. Nothing is original, everything is just a copy paste and nothing has property, nothing has ownership, nothing has providence. But with NFTs, we change this. With NFTs, we can prove that something digital has been owned by some people. We can prove that something digital is created from a source. We can prove all these things. It's the first time that we have property rights on the internet. There is a video game called Axie Infinity. In Axie Infinity, you can train, breed, raise, and educate a little creatures that you can then sell. This Axie right here on screen is worth $15 million, and they have very good health, speed, and skill score, also abilities and parents. Here in Axie Infinity is where a plot of land to train this little cute thing was sold for more than one million dollars. And people feel okay buying these things because with NFTs, these things are your property. There is no owner of the game that could take this away from you. There is no account that somebody will ban you or move the server or the company will go bankrupt. That is yours. Once you have it, it's yours. Like I said, this is the first time in the history on the internet where we can actually have online property rights where you can actually own something digital but you can prove that it's yours and is unique as well. Or take the example of Decentraland. Decentraland is a VR game that is on the Ethereum blockchain where you can build whatever you want, let's say like Minecraft, but it's yours. Like you can buy land, you can trade your character's clothes, you can do whatever you want. And it, there is where there is a VR casino hiring people right now, full time. Literally, somebody will pay you to go and play with other players. That is 100% possible right now. Or imagine tokenizing this video. Let's say that now we give the opportunity to YouTube creators to be able to sell and trade their videos. Which video would you buy? Which video would you sell? These things are now possible. It's amazing. The industries that can benefit from NFTs are so many, but we are also going to have new industries and new jobs. For example, now people need to have NFTs frames. Like if I buy an NFT artwork, I need to display that on my house. So now there is a new market of people that wanna buy NFT frames. We're gonna start hanging screens from our walls. That's crazy, but it's here. Or what if Metallica comes to Korea and instead of them selling the tickets through a third party, they just issue ticket NFTs. That means that now we're going to need NFT reader or NFT ticket reader. Like there's so many new opportunities, so many industries that are gonna be created just because of NFTs. As you can see, I could go on forever. There are so many examples of things that could change, but I think you got the point. This is a game changer, it's disruptive, and I think we cannot afford to ignore it the same way that we ignore Bitcoin or Ethereum because it's crazy or scammy or the price is too crazy. No way. So now you know what NFTs are and why they can be game changers for many business across the internet. So thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments, what do you think about NFTs? Do you think they're a scam? Do you think there's a bubble? Do you think they're stupid and they're gonna go away? I'm always open to opinions and I want to hear your comments. This is the video four of a series that I'm trying to make that explains the crypto, Bitcoin, blockchain, all these crazy concepts in an easy way. I have so many other things to explain, so many concepts to explore, but for this, I need your support. I only ask you three clicks, just three clicks like subscribe and share that's all i ask you to continue this series if you think it's valuable then please three clicks like subscribe and share thank you so much for watching the video don't forget to be happy don't forget to see you on the next one bye bye